Hello traders and investors, welcome to Trade with Raymond. Today I shall be talking about an important part of the Ichimoku trading system, the baseline. In Japanese, it is called the Kijun. The Kijun is an awesome part of this trading tool. Interestingly, some traders, especially those in the stock market, just focus on the Kijun and catch up trends for a long period of time. Interesting, the Kijun is also able to provide you your risk management system or your risk management methodology when you're trading. So today, follow me. Let's look at what is in this Kijun. And after a series of videos, we're going to put everything together so that you can have an entire understanding of this agile system and how you can implement it in your trading, whether you trade cryptocurrencies, whether you trade index or indices, whether you trade stocks, in the equities, whatever you call it, metals, anything, any commodity, uh, agricultural products, oil, whatever you trade. So long as it moves on a chart, this tool is agile enough to give you an understanding of what is happening in the market and you'll be able to make very, 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 very profitable decisions. And the interesting part of Ichimoku is that it literally builds your confidence in trading because you will see while we go for it, the number of years it's been tested, its performance, and how it is able to keep you out of choppy trades over time and only give you access to good trending trades. Let's go to the chart and see what the Kijun does. Now, I was talking about the Kijun. The blue line so this is how i got it i mean i went to the uh kitchen area and made it blue and so this is how it lines up with the chimoko system however i'm just going to look at the kitchen for you to understand how it actually works i move the picture away a bit all right so this is just a kitchen i have taken away the cloud and I, was, I mentioned to you earlier that you can literally trade with just a kitchen and a lot of people do that in the stock market it's not wrong it's fine because the tool is very robust but however my um master series here is looking at a comprehensive way of using this agile tool it's a 26 period moving average but the calculations are different let me take the traditional 26 period moving average for a better understanding of what i'm talking about so this is a moving average and you see it applies at the close so when you have closing prices it will calculate the mean the last 26 based on the closing price so it will take the last 26 candles look at the closing prices and find an average that's why it's called a moving average so whatever type it is whether smoothing uh, uh smooth exponential they are all just moving averages and it is applied at the close so it lines up differently from how Ichimoku 26 period moving average lines up and Ichimoku 26 period moving average literally gives us more information Let me make this line a bit brighter so that um, you Can enjoy the view So and let me make it also thicker So that you can enjoy the view also <laughs> All right, so This is it it lines up very differently sometimes they intercept a bit but the shape of the Ichimoku is so different it's so so different and it is not based on just the closest it is also based on the open so i call it the mean of a mean whereas this is just the mean the average this is an average of an average and it's a very wonderful method of charting and so i'm going to delete the traditional one and tell you something how awesome this tool is so just looking at the kijun which is the baseline a market breaks above the key June. it stays there for a sustained period of time so for some traders uh, they'll just look at the key June and throw money at the key June and say okay right first time we went below the key June. this is the close below the key June. we sell we put our stock on the swing high and we stay in the position till we have a close above the key June. so that person may capture profit up to this point a few pips the 121 not bad another person will say all right so that's that's the way some people trade the kijun 
And trading the Kiju using that meter is also a very successful way of trading. You just need to know how to manage your stop losses because some people may wait for an entire close at the opposite part of the Kiju and they may lose some of their money or they drop in terms of the quantum or volume of profit they should be making. I mean, you have a close below the Kiju, it rises all the way to this area, almost 200 pips before you get out of the position. And this is that. I mean, if you look at some stock trading charts, or stock traders, uh, some of their works you will see, then they're looking at just a break of the Kiju and then they follow, a break, an upward break, they buy, a downward break, they exit, and they literally change the position. And this is very easy to program. So you just wait, you break above the uh, Kiju and base that um, you're in buy. You close below it, you stop yourself. You close above it. So you have a little bit of capitulation, some choppy behavior, then you have a boom market going one direction where you make a lot of pips so that's that so the kijun is interesting a sustained kijun telling us there's a lot of up what uh, upside uh, movement you can apply to any asset class let's look at um wall street i mean look at it look at it look at it and this is it okay so just the kijun can do a lot of magic i mean you enter you exit you enter you exit so you have a few um failed trades you can have about six to seven failed trades which you'll be losing about 10 15 20 pips 50 pips 80 pips and then you have about four wins and each is going for 200 200 300 and that is how so if you're trading you know the thing about trading is that it's about how long you can hold the position so that you can be profitable some people can take so many trades and then miss. there are some systems that are about i mean 70 percent of the time the system is wrong 70 percent of the time the trader is losing money but the 30 percent of the time the trader makes money the wins are so huge that they cancel out the losses i mean if you read the total traders where they have some losses but one win wipes out all the losses and then you become profitable and that is how using the kitchen alone, the baseline can do for you. And this approach is wonderful. However, it doesn't give you the full benefit of the system. In the future, in another trading lesson, we'll be talking about mean re reversion methods. And um, where a kitchen can even be used in some of these approaches. However, that's for another video. This kitchen approach, just using the kitchen may profitable for some people but i'm not excited just using the kitchen because it's a holistic tool it's an agile tool that all parts must be a uh, part of the system all parts must be used so that you can get the full benefit of making reliable trades that are profitable so back to the um, chart where we had the cloud so this is how i use it and this is the most efficient and profitable way of using it I'm still going to make the key a bit thicker so that you can be uh, comfortable looking at it. So you have the cloud. And then the last time we added the Chiku Span. Okay, so for today, I'm just going to leave the Chiku Span out so that you can focus on what I'm talking here about here. So you have a situation where market falls below the cloud. It tells you we are in a bearish position. The purpose of the cloud is to help you not to rush into a trade. So if you are just trading the Kijun, you would have entered this particular trade. As soon as we fell below, you would have entered the position. But the cloud is so important, telling you that, look, we need to fall below the cloud to agree that we are in the sell position. Then the Kijun must be above price, above candlesticks. Okay. So here, let me get the line here. Let me get something here to help you. So we fell below the cloud at this point. Okay. At this point, the Kijun is above the arrow or the Kijun is above the closing price. Then we decide to sell because that is the structure. If you were just trading the Kijun, market goes above Kijun here, you will buy. But when the cloud is part of the system, you do not have to buy. 
you actually have to wait for the market to cross and go above the cloud for the kitchen to be below the current price before you can take a purchase a buy position s&p 500 similar case here market breaks below the kijun traditional kijun trader will just sell and exit here for a loss that is not what i'm teaching here market must close below the cloud so this bearish candle the red candle i use here is a bearish candle it closed below the cloud i'm taking my time here so that you can understand for emphasis also it closed below the cloud as soon as we have this close below the cloud the kijun is above the price i will also add some lines to help us first of all this candle is below the cloud moving downwards this is the cloud area this is the tip of the cloud let me use this red line we close below the cloud we are below this blue line, which is the Kijun, the baseline. We sell the market. Whatever it is, S&P 500, Amazon, Google, VW, gold, crude, platinum, silver, BTC, euro dollar, pound dollar, we sell. And that is how we do it. At this point, market or price has gone above the Kijun. We are not trading just the Kijun, we are trading a total system. So we do not make any decision here. We have to wait for price to close above the Kijun. Then we can take a buy position. So all this must be done in combination with what we have learned before. However, we shall be putting them together gradually. So I am going to go one more step by adding the style, the Chiku span. It was green in our last lesson. So I'm still going to make it green and make it a bit thicker. So boom, this is it. So Chiku span, we crossed above the Kijun. We are not just trading the Kijun, we are trading an entire system. Currently, what I'm teaching you now, the system is just 50% done. We have 50% more to cover. It won't be long. We shall cover everything. So we crossed above. We are not going to make any decision here. We have to wait for it to close above the cloud. It did close above the price at this moment, at this point, rather. Um, so we have it here. Okay, this candle, this this uh, arrow, we are above the cloud, but then we are not buying. Why? Because Chiku span is not free. It is being blocked by this thick cloud. It's supposed to be sitting freely on top of the cloud, giving us a signal to buy. But since it hasn't done that, we cannot what buy. That is the discipline. Trading is about being consistent and being disciplined and being consistent in your discipline trading is about rules you follow the rules that is it that's why most trading uh, teachers are called instructors they give rules and you follow the rules to become profitable so over here is the same we broke below but here the chuku span is below the cloud it's free over here it's free it's below cloud so we understand the last time i mentioned that the chuku span is usually usually price pushed back 26 periods so we're going to check that where is 26 period 26 period all right the, the actually 26 period fell in the cloud so we will not take the position at this point we have to wait to somewhere here this particular one so here when you calculate 26 periods into the past you get somewhere here good so at this point is when you take a sell decision so let me mark that also so this is the cloud okay we are below the cloud in terms of the chiku span the style and then we are also below the tanking or the base sorry they are below the kijun kijun or the baseline 
and we are also below the cloud so our sell decision is actually being taken here it's not about rushing into the market ichimoku wants to be sure that the market has built up properly before you take a position wonderful tool one more example and then we finish this one and then we'll continue with the next lesson in a few days time Param 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 ooh something crazy is happening here. Param param param. All right. So what is happening currently is that the future is bearish. This market is bearish. Um it's below the key june, the baseline. See what is happening. This is a current market behavior. So let, let's mark it for our learning. Very aggressive, impulsive behavior, maybe driven by many factors. Prices are below one. The Kijun baseline is also below the cloud. Future cloud is bearish. Remember our lesson on the future cloud is bearish and tiny. Not too much of a good news, but it's still bearish. And then Chiku span style is also below the cloud, informing us that we are indeed in a major bearish position or trend. Uh, one more one more let's go to crude oil all right so similarly we have interesting position so cloud is bearish and fast falling good idea crude prices are expected to drop further all right so um to be nice on the gas for our vehicles so over here too we are below the cloud we are below the baseline very important baseline we are below it it is bearish and also we are free so the market is continually bearish and this is how we observe and use the system so thank you very much for your patience and make it time ask questions like my videos uh, join the notification link subscribe to the video make comments send us email we'll answer you and we'll help you to become a profitable trader this indeed is the best trading tool ever thank you very much for trading with Raymond. Bye-bye.